some other former colleagues, especially some Republicans. CNN's Jim Acosta is joining us from Capitol Hill with more on this uh, rather unique part of the story. What's going on here, Jim? Well, Chuck Hagel may be a former senator, but it's not clear how much deference he's going to get up here on Capitol Hill. From issues like Israel to gay rights, Hagel will have to walk through a political minefield in order to get confirmed. The White House is already playing defense when it comes to Chuck Hagel, a former two-term GOP senator from Nebraska. President Obama's pick for Secretary of Defense is running into resistance inside the Republican Party. Indiana Senator Dan Coats, who was once on the short list for Secretary of Defense himself, said Hagel is in for a fight. Have you made up your mind one way or the other on this? I want to give Chuck Hagel, a former colleague, uh, the opportunity to come and go face to face to answer these questions, these allegations, uh, what I think are some serious questions that do not perhaps qualify him for this position. One big battle to come, a comment Hagel made in 2006 about pro-Israeli groups and their influence on Capitol Hill when he said the Jewish lobby intimidates a lot of people up here. Hagel has since apologized for the comment, but that hasn't stopped the criticism. The head of the Anti-Defamation League released a statement saying he hopes Hagel will clarify and explain his comments about the Jewish lobby that were hurtful to many in the Jewish community. Hagel made the remark to Aaron David Miller, a Middle East analyst who says the comment is being twisted. Those comments have been hijacked uh, in an effort to, uh, to make a case, frankly, that in, in my judgment isn't, isn't well deserved. Still, some Republican senators say Hagel's comments fit a pattern. Chuck Hagel, if uh, confirmed to be Secretary of Defense, would be the most antagonistic Secretary of Defense toward the state of Israel in our nation's history. Some in the White House believe that GOP ill will stems from the Bush years, when Hagel aligned himself with then-Senator Barack Obama as a critic of the Iraq War. I don't know how many United States senators believe we have a coherent strategy in Iraq. I don't think we've ever had a coherent strategy. Noting Hagel's two Purple Hearts from Vietnam, a senior administration official brushed off the GOP criticism, saying, it's one thing to posture on a talk show. It's another thing to look a two-term senator in the eye and say, I'm going to vote against you because you turned against the war in Iraq. But there are other political landmines looming. Gay rights groups are slamming Hagel for once opposing the nomination of a U.S. ambassador because he was homosexual. And neoconservatives point to Hagel's stance against unilateral sanctions on Iran. In principle, Hagel only supports multilateral sanctions. I think it'll be a lot of tough questions of, of Senator Hagel, and, uh, but he'll be treated fairly uh, by Republicans in the Senate. Now, this afternoon, John McCain also released a statement on Chuck Hagel's nomination saying he has serious con concerns heading into these confirmation hearings. Uh, but I, I have to tell you, Wolf, uh, this White House official that I talked to earlier today indicated that the administration seems to be ready for a fight. Uh, that official was noting how many Republican senators were praising Chuck Hagel when he left the Senate uh, several years ago. It just goes to show you, even though Chuck Hagel spent many years up here on Capitol Hill. He, he may not have as many friends as he might think, and that might be the price for being a maverick so many years. Wolf. Jim Acosta on Capitol Hill getting ready for those confirmation hearings. Uh, everyone's going to be busy watching those. Thank you.